Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Tony from Tony's Professional Touch based out of San Diego, California. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do my maintenance process. So stick around and find out. All right, Tony, what's the first step to your maintenance process? So the first thing I like to do is check the inside of the vehicle, see if it has like a WeatherTech type of floor mat. If it has those, I'll take them out, pull them all out. That way I can get them prepped, ready, and rinse them, scrub them down. And then I'll get started on the outside. I'll get started on the wheels. Um, after I start doing the wheels, I'll rinse down the whole vehicle and foam it up and start doing our hand wash. Now, how long have you had this client? Mm, probably about two years now. Oh, okay. And is it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly type of client? Uh, this is bi-weekly. Got it. What do you like to do better? Uh, maintenance or like full details? Um, it depends. It depends on the day. Sometimes maintenance is cool and sometimes the full details are cool. Uh, for, for pictures, usually the full details because you get more of a wow effect. But um, with maintenance, it just fills up your schedule and you, like it's more of a little easier to get than the others. Mm. Full details, uh, we don't get those super, super often anymore, but um, they still come in every once in a while. So just to switch things up. Now, new detailers want to know, how do you get a first time client to become a maintenance client? Do you um, wait for them to hit you a couple of times? Do you pitch it right away? What do you do, Tony? So for us, um, we usually don't like to offer uh, maintenance for vehicles that aren't protected. So they have to either get a level one through us or hire a paint protection package. Um, and then after that, we'll pitch it to them. We'll be like, um, if you don't have time to wash yourself or you don't like taking it to the car wash places, we do offer a maintenance service, a maintenance program type of thing. Um, where we do offer a little bit of a discount. We have you pre-booked, that way you don't have to keep asking us if we have availability, you're already on our schedule, and you won't have to worry about if we have time or not for you. Um, so yeah, I'll just pitch it to them for the most part. Um, sometimes we'll get people here and there where they just, they don't want to do a paint protection package, they just want the maintenance. And that just varies, it really varies. Um, we have to service our car at least once and see how the paint is. And then after that, um, we'll talk to them and see if they need to or not, because sometimes they get paint protection packages from other detailers, mm -hmm. so they don't want to do something with us, um, but it just varies. Hey, Tony, so I know every detailer has their own method of scrubbing the car. Mm -hmm. Two bucket, one bucket. What's your method? So it depends on the vehicle and the type of service we're doing, but for the most part, um, we've been doing wash mitts or the Shine Supply uh, microfiber like wash mitts that they have. Uh, we'll do uh, two usually split it split the vehicle in half and then if the car's really really dirty like for maintenance we only need two but if the car's really dirty we need from four to six um, pads and then we'll just rinse them out after every new vehicle or um, if they get too dirty then we, we can just get new towels so it just really depends on the cars we're doing for that day and the type of services so why do you choose to dry with a blower instead of towels uh, since it's ceramic coated um, it just kind of prevents it from getting swirled up just in case like the we do use towels um, for other vehicles that aren't ceramic coated or aren't protected but since ceramic coated and we did polish this one and, and uh, we did a new vehicle protection package it, this prevents it a lot more from getting scratched than a towel does um, if it wasn't ceramic coated and if it wasn't polished then we probably use a towel just because the water tends to stick on the paint a lot more but with the blower it just slides kind of right off so for maintenance tony mm -hmm. how long should it last you or you try to finish it um, for maintenance, by myself, um, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, maybe two hours pushing it if it's like a bigger SUV or truck, or if it's a little dirtier than usual. Uh, two hours usually pushing it a lot though um, for maintenance. Um, unless it's like a monthly maintenance, those we don't give a really a discount on, they just get their spots saved. Um, but weekly and bi-weekly, they should be a little bit quicker than the longer ones. All right, Tony, what's next? About to get started on the inside, so I'm gonna, wipe all the dashboard and the door panels and vacuum up all the carpet and floor mats and the seats, wipe down the seats as well. And just go around the whole vehicle starting from driver's side and make, work my way around. Um, after I'm done with that, um, I'll do the door jams and then start doing the tire dressing and condition the trim and the final wipe down on the paint and windows inside and out and that should be about it. All right, Tony, mm -hmm. for new customers, what do you think is the reason they should jump on the maintenance? Convenience. Uh, lower prices those two and then um, we usually hook them up um, if they have like if they get any little scrapes or they spill any little stuff we'll take care of it for free of charge we don't charge them anything um, and then we also give a little bit of a discount on future services 
Hey, but let me know, how do you guys go the extra mile for your maintenance clients? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, Tony, so what's the finishing touches once you're done with the inside? Uh, just <clears throat> windows inside and out, the door jams, and then uh, just look over the whole vehicle, make sure you're not missing any spots, and wipe down anything you see on the paint and interior. Now, you were telling me you're kind of behind on this detail. Yeah. Well, Why? for the next one. I was supposed to finish this one like around 9.30 to get to the next location at 10. It's about to be 10 already in a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. And we're almost done with this one, not quite yet. But <clears throat> the next location is like 10 to 15 minutes away from here. So we're probably going to get over there like 30-ish minutes late maybe. Maybe like 15 to 30 minutes late. Now, when this happens, are you stressing? Are you chill about it? Do you have a process of what you do? It depends on the client and the next services that we have to do. Um, today, I'm a little bit stressed just because the last car of the day uh, needs to be turned in by a certain time. So we got to make sure that we can turn in with the good quality, but in a quicker time than usual. Um, so it sets everything like the whole day behind schedule if we're running late. But I'm gonna try to catch up with the next one. The next one is, he's there. These this morning one and the next one, they're both working, so it's not like I need to rush these, but the last one of the day is like the one that needs to be turned in by a certain time. So, we kinda gotta be on it? Yeah. So that's my maintenance process. Let me know in the comments down below how you do your maintenance process, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.